For teachers that write grants, the process is tedious and often does not result in success. That did not deter Waterford Mott art teacher Renee Sinek. Her grant proposal to the Waterford Foundation was accepted and her art students received a day-long session with Oakland University art professor Eugene Clark. Sinek has high hopes for her art students. Or I have students here that are just drawing one students all the way through portfolio students where they're preparing a portfolio for college entrance and uh, it's going to really help them draw in perspective keep it proportionately correct and be able to draw what they see. Clark has been an accomplished artist and became a professor at an early age and he taught students how to draw both the skeletal system and muscles with the expectations that they will catch on quickly and at a college level. I'm here more to promote uh, anatomy and the use of anatomy for beginning artists because it's something that's been used in art school or art study for you know hundreds of thousands of years so uh, we're just trying to keep it going, carry on the tradition. We turn to Leonardo because we have so many sketchbooks that he has left behind that it's a really good example of what, if you apply it, what can happen in your art. Jacob Stein is a junior at Mott, and while he said he is not sure what his future holds, he gives a thumbs up to a day's worth of college instruction. Uh, well, I'm getting a more college prep experience rather than a high school real quick in a classroom. Like, we've been sitting in this room like, since we got here this morning, we're going to stay here till this afternoon. So it's a consecutive time where we get to learn these kinds of things rather than it being split up between art classes throughout a day. For Cynic, she cannot thank the Waterford Foundation enough as they fund projects where the traditional school budget will not. It brings it all current. It's not just me standing up in front saying you need to know this. That now they know, they know so much more and they know why. Why and how it applies. This is Roy J. Akers reporting.